Crawford Nardo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Honourable Minister of Pacific Island Affairs, what steps is the government taking to lift the skills of Pacific people in New Zealand? The Honourable Speaker. Professor Ta Sam Lotuinga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The national-led government has introduced a range of programmes and plans to lift the skills of Pacific people. For example, Budget 2013 included the funding for the Māori and Pacifica Trades Training Initiative. That is $43 million in funding over four years to provide greater opportunities for young Pacific people to gain qualifications and better employment prospects. The government is also supporting AUT's Monaco campus expansion, and this will see the number of equivalent full-time students at AUT increase from the current 940 Fs to 4,100 Fs by 2020, and almost half of these students will be Pacific, sir. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Alfred Nardo. To the Minister of Pacific Island Affairs, how is the government helping to raise the achievement of Pacific students? Uh, the Honourable Pesata Sam Lottawinga. Government programmes such as Pacifica Power Up, Youth Guarantee, Achievement 2013-17 to and Trades Academies are making a significant contribution to lifting achievement. Last month, Minister Parata announced that NCA Level 2 achievement among Pacific students in 2013 has risen to 71.8 per cent. That's an increase of 16.5 per cent since 2008. Tertiary course completion rates for Pacific students at all levels are now up to 74% in 2012, and that is compared with 54% in 2007. And yesterday, of course, Minister Joyce announced the new tertiary education strategy, and one of the six priorities is about boosting the achievement of Māori and Pacific students. Question number 11, Den. Oh, supplementary question, Sua William Seo. Uh, to the Minister, uh, given the Minister's responses that his government is so successful in doing things to lift the skills of Pacific people in New Zealand, will he also take the credit for lifting Pacific not in education, employment or training from 16.7% in 2008 to 20.1% in 2013? Sir, I don't have those figures to hand, but what I can say, sir, what I can say is that since this government has been in power and since 2009, the second quarter of 2009, sir, the number of people, uh, Pacific people employed has gone up from 97,700 to over 108,200, sir. Over 11,000 people more are employed. Question number 11, 